Hi, I'm Michelle Massey from the Center for Hospitality and Culinary Arts at George Brown College. Today we'll be making a warm, delicious, festive cocktail, hot buttered bourbon. It's made by blending um, a mixture of uh, sugar and butter. It's usually brown sugar, uh, butter, and some spices. Here we have a, a gingerbread spice mix, which is um, just a mixture of uh, cloves, allspice, cinnamon, and ginger. Uh, it usually calls for about a tablespoon for the amounts that we have here. Um, but I usually like to sort of bump it up a little bit and uh, just to make it a little bit spicier. Um, and then that, of course, has a little bit of bourbon in there as well. And then it's all topped up with um, a hot mixture. You can use uh, whatever you want. Today we are using a mixture of tea and milk, um, but some recipes actually call for cider as well, uh, which is great because it's a very, very uh, strongly favored mixture, even without the bourbon. So it means everybody can uh, have a little bit, just leave the bourbon out. It tastes great with just the milk and tea or the cider. I'm gonna take the butter and the brown sugar and just kind of blend those together. Um, you can do this in a mixer, uh, but a wooden spoon works really well. Okay, now if you are big into holiday baking, you probably have all of these ingredients around anyways. Nice glug of vanilla there. So you just wanna mix this all together until it's nice and smooth. Um, and the nice thing about this, this is um, great for gifting. And I have a little bit over here. So you see, um, it's, it holds, you can make this well in advance. I've just packed a little bit into a jar. Um, and it would be a lovely gift uh, along with uh, your bourbon, of course, and maybe even some gingerbread cookies. And I will be using those as a garnish for our finished drink. Uh, so it's sort of a nice little cocktail kit that you can give people. Now we're gonna move on to the good part. We're gonna actually make the drink. Um, because, just a few sort of safety notes at the beginning, uh, because we're working with a blender and hot liquids, uh, you wanna be careful um, that you don't overfill your blender. And usually I like to have some kind of a towel or something to go on top, because what happens when you're using hot liquids in a blender, as soon as you turn it on, it usually expands very, very quickly. Um, and that could be, that's not very festive. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take for the for uh, two sort of good sized drinks, what we're gonna need is about a quarter cup of our mixture. So I'm gonna put that into the blender. All right, along with four ounces, these are pretty festive drinks. <laughs> four ounces of bourbon. Okay, and two cups of hot brewed tea and one cup of milk. So that's gonna go in the blender as well. And you want it to be nice and hot just so that the butter actually melts. So this is great. Uh, this comes from a family of what are known as nogs uh, and it's quite an old drink. There's actually um, the first printed recipes of these drinks are um, from like the late um, 1700s, early 1800s. So they've been around for a long, long time. The most famous one is eggnog. Um, not everyone likes eggnog though, so this is a good alternative. I'm just gonna turn this on for a sec. So what you're looking for is making it, you want it to be nice and frothy. You wanna get a, a nice little uh, foam on the top of it. Okay. off okay and now we're going to put it in our mug you can see it's all aerated it's looks like a cappuccino foam on the top and I'm just gonna grate some fresh nutmeg on top and then I've got these lovely little uh, bourbon gingerbread cookies that I'm gonna garnish with and you could use a uh, if you wanted to you can also use a cinnamon stick or something like that so there we have it, our festive hot buttered bourbon. Enjoy. <laughs>